Hi, I'm Rich Brower from TaylorMade Products. This afternoon we're going to take a few minutes to walk you through a perfect DIY project for your older boat. What we're going to do this afternoon is we're going to replace this worn out kind of shabby looking carpet with a brand new carpet program that we've introduced this past year. Okay, the first step is going to be to remove your old carpeting. Now you got to keep this because you're going to use this carpet to make templates for the carpet manufacturer to replace this for you. So just snap it out. This whole process starts out with a template kit that you purchase separately. In that template kit comes 100 square feet of this Mylar templating material that you're actually going to trace your old carpet pieces onto. All the, all the pieces of carpeting that show you what style and colors of carpet are available in this form that you're going to fill out with all your specific information that goes back to the carpet manufacturer. Hi there. We're ready to start the actual templating process of our snap, uh, custom snap-down carpeting. And as you can see here, the, the Mylar template is 10 foot by 10 foot, which was more than enough room for our 23 foot C ray. And you can see now we've laid out the, the main cockpit section of the carpeting as well as the, the piece that goes up into the open bow. Now we're gonna, we're gonna start laying this out and doing the actual marking of the template. We've decided to start marking our template in the, the section that faces to the bow. When you fill out the template, you wanna make sure that you, indi that you indicate that this is at the carpet side up, and you wanna be sure that you show them the direction that the carpet is to the bow so they can make sure the grain of the, all the pieces are all going in the same direction. So it's really just a simple matter of tracing around the perimeter of your carpet. Now remember, accuracy is important, so make sure your mylar is flat and your carpet is flat and without wrinkles as you're marking it. Now notice in this corner I've got one of the female snaps. So all I'm going to do is just mark that location because at the end I want to indicate to them how many snaps I need to complete this install. Note that all of your radius corners you want to make sure that they're marked as closely and accurately as you can. Any little, any little nuance, any little turn is going to be in your template. So you want to make sure that you're as accurate as possible. Okay, so I'm just finishing this up. Getting ready to send this in. So you'll see that we've traced it all. Got my marks so I can count up all of the snaps that go into it. I've indicated on here that this is the bow facing in this direction and that it's carpet side up. So now I'm just going to roll this template up, put it right back into the mailing tube to send back to the carpet manufacturer. As they say, no job is finished until the paperwork's done. So this order form uh, for the template kit is pretty self-explanatory. You're going to fill it in with all of your uh, pertinent address information. You're going to pick your choice of carpet. You're going to pick your color. And then send this right back in with your rolled up template. And within a few days, you'll get a call with a quote. Well, if you decide to go ahead and purchase the carpet, in three weeks, it'll be at your door. All right. Within three weeks of the time you place your order for your replacement carpet, it's going to arrive in the mail. Now, we chose the cut pile carpeting for this boat because it more closely resembles the carpeting that came in the boat originally, but also Berber's available in a variety of colors. Now, I'll draw your attention to the backing on this. This is a high quality marine grade non-skid -skid backing that uh, is primarily used for OEM carpet right at the boat builders. All right, as you can see, the first thing we've done is to take the replacement carpeting sections and to lay them out in the boat. We want to be sure that all of the snap areas are properly covered and that it lays in place properly. Now included with your replacement carpeting are going to be all of the snaps and the installation tool for the job.
want to draw your attention to some of the features of the replacement carpeting. If you notice, all of the exposed edges are bound with a heavy duty green grade binding. All the cutouts, when you started with that template, everything that's in that template is going to be incorporated into your replacement carpeting. So, where we've gone around the pedestal seat, the opening for the table, all the cutouts, all the nooks and crannies are all going to be incorporated into that replacement carpet. All right, we've chosen to start in the main cabin area in the high traffic zone of this boat for the uh, installation of the carpet. What we're going to do, starting here, we're going to identify each of the male snap locations in the deck. Mark that with a marker and then install the snap. Right, we found it's easier to put a hole through the backing with a tool I'm u simply using a Phillips head screwdriver. So from your mark location for the snap, poke the hole in. You're going to take the top part, the cap part of the snap with the long barrel on it, put it through the hole that you've poked in there, and get ready to install that. So the cap part of the snap is through the carpeting. We're going to take the snap portion of it, put it over to the barrel end, and get ready to do the installation. All right, the installation of the snap is done with this base, which is going to hold the cap portion of the snap, and the setting tool. Note that one end of it is going to go right down in and peen over the inside edge of the barrel. Okay, make sure the snap is good and secure, and you're ready to install it. Okay, so we've completed the installation of the new snap-in carpeting. And there's a couple of helpful hints I'd like to go over. Our best advice would be to start at one end and get those snaps into the outermost corners. And then work your way back to the stern and stretching the carpeting and getting those two outermost snaps installed. Then work your way back into the center. And another thing, don't pre-mark too many of the snaps ahead. Mark a few, install those snaps, then mark a few more. So, in a little bit of an afternoon, you can complete a project of this nature. Okay, so in closing, for this 23-foot boat, for less than $1,000, in a small portion of your day, you can transform the carpeting from this to this. Also, I encourage you to be creative. This boat did not come with carpeting on the swim platform. So we marked it out, installed some male snaps in appropriate places, and came up with this. So, thank you from TaylorMade Products, and happy boating.